Hello guys. Ooh, sipping some good tea. Trying to get in this flow. And I decided that with all this fear energy going around, today's pick a card reading would be how to bring a change of energy in your life. Now, you can do this several different ways. I plan on doing another reading like this next week, um, but you could either do it as this for the month, this for the week, yada yada, however you want to do it. Now, these are the decks I'm going to be using today, um, but it's also how you're going to pick your piles. So we have pile one, which is the butterfly affirmations, pile two, which is the Isis oracle, and pile three, which is the sacred self-care oracle. Now, I will be using all three of these decks in whichever pile you choose. Um, but I kind of wanted to just show you what the box looks like in case this is something you'd be interested in uh, buying slash purchasing for yourself. So, if you've never done a pick a card reading before, it's real simple. Just take three deep mindful breaths or pause this video and meditate on your selection. And I will leave the timestamps down below. And we can go ahead and get started right into this glorious pick a card reading of how you can bring a new energy into your space, into your life. And let's get started. So I was shuffling these on camera. And I really didn't like the way that I was flowing um, in my message before. So we're going to try this again. So first off, we have massage. This is all about applying pressure to your pressure point. Um, do not go out and get a massage. We are social distancing. We should follow that. But as you can see, she's touching her hand, her back, her neck, her foot. Apply pressure to these spots. Get blood flowing to your body, especially if you are someone who has been laying in bed, watching Netflix, watching Hulu, eating snacks since quarantine started. Um, get some blood flowing in your body. Next, we have spend time with animals. This could be nature, like squirrels and birds, or this could be house pets, like cats and dogs and birds, and reptiles, if that's your thing. Uh, really, though, animals are super lighthearted. And because there's so much fear-based energy going around, um, this will bring you back to your center of lightheartedness. Um, and really get you going on this creative well. Um, I'm sorry for the changes in lighting on by my window, which also means you could probably hear the birds right now. Apologize if you can. Um, and I apologize for the change of lighting uh, as it starts to get darker. But spend time with animals. Get back to your lighthearted center. Um, get some blood flow into your body. And your last card is music. This could be making music. This could be listening to music. Now with music, um, because there's already so much negative energy going around that does not suit us, that doesn't belong to us, um, if you are consistently listening to low vibrational music, and I'm talking about music that doesn't talk about anything but uh, killing and robbing, and I get it, like I'm not your mom, you can listen to whatever you want to, you're an adult, you can make these decisions for yourself. Um, but just keep in mind that if you're already feeling low well like that, um, you don't want to make yourself stay in that low vibration. So make some music. Use your hands. Uh, you can make, if you have a laptop, like an Apple computer, you could use GarageBand. And like now's the perfect time to try to make music if that's something that you have been interested in. Really Really just allow your creativity to come out. And you might even feel inspired after spending time with these animals. Or you might even feel motivated after this massage. This quarantine and chill time is all about you. So I'm going to move these down here. And I'm going to flip them so you can see them. Next up is this card, 
This is from the Isis Oracle. I'm going to read it to you. It says, The Eye of Horus brings divine perception, protection, and insight. You are gifted with certain spiritual abilities, including divine sight, that are awakening and growing now. You have much divine support and protection so that you may grow your abilities and serve others with your divine gifts. Trust your perception and know that you are divinely protected. Ay, hey, I love that. I love, I love when cards let you know that you are protected, especially in a time like this. Now, even though you are divinely protected, do not be stupid out here. This quarantine, this self-isolation is not just for you. It is for everyone. As a collective, we have to make smart and wise choices about washing our hands. Uh, standing six feet away from people, not being in large crowds. It just takes a few to lead by example and everyone will catch on. You are protected. Use this time to look um, inwards at your gifts and allow yourself to heal during this time. And lastly, I have some affirmations. Um, I will flip them so you can see them as we read them. And you can say these to yourself um, just to remind yourself to keep things lighthearted, to relieve yourself of some of the pressure that you're putting on yourself, and to really just lighten up from the inside out. Okay, so your first affirmation is, I am doing so well on my life journey. I am proud of myself. That's beautiful. I'm going to read that one more time for you. Pause this and get your journal if you need to, or put this in the notes in your phone. But here we go. I am doing so well on my life journey. I am proud of myself. That's beautiful. I love that. Ooh, is that straight? That looks straight. Okay. Here's the next one. It says, I don't need to control life. I trust in magic and miracles. And this really feels like this about being so lighthearted. It says, one more time. Look how beautiful that is. I don't need to control life. I trust in magic and miracles. Yes, I love that. And your last and final card, group one. It says, this one's kind of a long one, so I will read it slower. It is easy for me to attract all that I need into my life. I do this by relaxing and trusting that things are going to work out perfectly. I love how that lines up with all these cards. I'm going to say it one more time for you. It is easy for me to attract all that I need into my life. I do this by relaxing and trusting that things are going to work out perfectly. And here you go, Pile One. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your week, month, year, decade, millennium. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe uh, if you like this video, if you like what I'm putting down. Um, I'd love to see you guys later in my next video so we can come hang out and do this again. Sending you love and protection and light, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 2. This is going to be your reading for how you can bring new, clean, better energy into your life. I hope you're staying safe out there. I hope you're washing your hands. I hope you're drinking water. I hope you're using this time to reflect. I shuffle it one more time for a good time. Whoop. Okay, here's what we got. Sex. Sound healing. Use it. Uh -huh. Pile one had this too. All right, I'm gonna move these down so I can set this deck right here.
Don't worry, as we go over them, I'll flip them so you can see them. Uh, next, we're going to do my Isis Oracle deck. Take a sip of my tea real quick. I deserve it. So good. I got a candle going. Like, I'm really feeling this vibe that we got. Whoa. And don't worry, I will go over all of them. And last, we have your butterfly affirmations. And I'm going to do a few of these. And then we can get right into it. Three cards just ready to come out. Alrighty. Alright, alright, alright. So here's what I got. Beautiful pile two. Is that even in focus? I'm going to try to fix it. That looks a little better. Sorry if you can hear the birds chirping. I got my window open a little bit. I closed it some more so I shouldn't be that loud. All right, let's talk about it because, uh, I mean, it's here. With this, if you have a significant other, go ahead and do your thing, baby. But do not go out and get yourself a new one night stand. Do not go out and meet someone from Tinder. This ladies and gentlemen, should only be done if you are living with someone or really that's kind of it. We don't want to be spreading our germs and everyone who's like, oh, I'm not going to let anything stop me from doing what I want. Don't act like that. We are in isolation, not for ourselves, but so everybody can heal. Not just us. We have the potential to spread it very easily, especially being in groups. So just be very, very mindful about this and the potential harm that you could be doing um, going out and sleeping with someone who you don't live with, uh, essentially is what I'm trying to say. Someone you don't have to be around all the time. Also, if you are doing this, you are an adult. You can do whatever you want, but uh, wear protection. Um, be safe. You know, I love you. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, especially when there's so much fear-based energy going around now. Um, I wish you guys nothing but the best. Next up, we have some sound healing. I love this. I am going to write myself a note right now because in the comments, I'm going to leave you guys um, a sound healing video you can watch. Sound healing. Vid. Yes, look at that Virgo in me just taking hold. Oh, uh, let me write pile two. Pile two. Love it. That way I don't forget. Sound healing. If you have a singing bowl, now is a perfect time to just give your brain some tingly goodness and kind of align yourself and recoup. And I love how right next to that we have music. Now, Pile 1 did get this card, and I was saying that because there's already so much fear-based energy going around that's not even ours, uh, you should be really careful about what you are um, ingesting into your mind, into your body. Your subconscious is always listening, whether you are tuning in or not. Um, so just be mindful about what's going into your body. I mean that for both things. I'm going to move these down here, move this here, and I'm going to flip them so you can see them. Oof, these acrylics. 
That should be clear for you. Thank you for being patient with me. Okay, next we have our Isis Oracle. And it says, power over seven scorpions. You are being initiated into the magic of conjuring so as to have power to affect lower vibrational forces through your own will and spoken word. You are guided to use this powerful gift with compassion and discernment, with mercy and non-judgment. You can then manage any toxicity in your life swiftly and with great effect. So to me, this card means that you have the power to kind of change the energy around you um, and with other people by what you say and how you say it and your magic of yourself. Let me close my door. Sorry about that. But this is a um, reminder to let you know that at the end of the day, you have all the power to manifest what you want into your life. Um, not only that, you can change the energy of other people by the way you speak to them and the way you hold magic and space for other people. Lastly, I have your affirmation cards. Um, these are cards that you can write in your journal, cards that you can write in your phone notes, however you want to do it. Um, moving these down so you can see them a little better. Uh, I will say them twice. Feel free to pause so you can go get a notepad or get your phone out. Um, but you have three of them and the first one looks like this. And it says, my intuition is strong and clear. I trust the voice within. That's beautiful, and it goes right with this. I'm going to say it one more time for you. My intuition is strong and clear. I trust the voice within. It's beautiful. Next up is this one. And it says, everything is going to be okay. I love how hopeful that is. We all need this one. Everything is going to be okay. Lastly, the card reads like this, but so you can see the picture. It says, I am thankful for many things and my gratitude attracts abundance into my life. I am thankful for many things, and my gratitude attracts abundance into my life. Alrighty, Pile 2. This has been your reading for how you can create change in your energy. Um, just be sure you're having safe sex. I will leave that video for your some sound healing and listen to music that makes you feel good. Uh, you have a way to change energy by the way you speak to people and just being your natural lighthearted self. So keep that in mind when you do talk to people and everything is going to be okay. Everything you want is coming towards you. You're a beautiful being. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out with me in the next video. I would absolutely love to see you there. Mwah, 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 mwah. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you want to be notified when my next video is up. I love you, I love you, I love you, and I'm sending you light, love, protection. You go do your thing, baby, in this world. Be sure you're being safe, and I will see you guys later. Hello, Pile 3. Let me sip this tea real quick. How we doing today? Hope we're doing good. Ooh. Whoa. Is that three cards? It's four cards. Okay, beautiful. Only pile that's had four cards. 
and don't you worry we will talk about them and then I will flip them over so you can see the picture on them and I will make it clear for you don't worry next we have your affirmation Ooh, that one wanted to come out I can have two more cards please find a better layout for these cards and last we have the Isis Oracle whoa too many I just need one we'll take that one since I missed it trying to pick them up all right I'll move these out the way Sorry if you can still hear birds chirping. And I will flip them over so you can see them. I don't know where to put this one so you can see it. We'll set it right there. Okay, let's talk about it. Pleasure. I mean, I don't really have to say much. I mean, it, it speaks for itself. But, while we're here talking about it, <clears throat> now is a perfect time to try something new with yourself. And or try a new genre of videos. Um, I can see that you're probably really stressed. Uh, all this energy going around has probably been making you feel tense, paranoid, worried, stressed, angered, anything. Uh, relieve some of that pressure in yourself. Okay, next up, we have intuition. This is all about connecting with your intuition. Um, doing some meditations, really stepping into your heart space, uh, really learning to trust your intuition, writing about it to kind of make it real to you type of deal um your intuition never steers you wrong even if it doesn't work out the way you want it to um it's because something better is waiting for you learn especially with all this downtime learn how to trust in yourself more super beautiful i love these cards i love the color scheme i'm gonna move this from here for a second so we have drink tea. I'm going to do that right now, actually. I'm drinking some lavender Earl Grey. <sighs> Delicious. Tea is super soothing. Learn a new tea recipe. Make your own tea. Um, you could even try Starbucks. Like, I'm pretty sure there's... Uh, most places are closed in the dining room, but you can go through the drive-thru and try a chai tea latte for the first time. Drinking tea, there's just something so therapeutic about it, and it kind of just makes me personally feel just so aligned, just so warm and ready to handle what's coming next for me. And then lastly, we have alone time. This shouldn't be too hard because... Uh, we are self-isolating, but use this alone time to really reflect and heal and, you know, like, I mean, <laughs> you know, get her done, do your thing. 
this has been like probably the easiest reading like everything is so very clear like obviously all these bring in new energy I love really tuning in and seeing the direction of my life that I want this personal favorite pastime it's fun drink tea my favorite alone time I'm a hermit I'm a Virgo like I love this yes I'm resonating with this myself. Next up, we have the Isis Oracle. Beautiful. And it is Truths Unveiled. Ooh, listening to our intuition. It says, There are times when appearances of people, places, and things are deceptive. You will sense this when something feels uncomfortable within you. When you notice feelings of anxiety or doubt within you, you may think there is something wrong with you. But actually, you are intuitively sensing that all is not as it appears to be. Trust what you feel, not what appears to be. So I'm actually going to set that right next to intuition. Because that's very much so linked. Now, lastly, pile three, I have your affirmations. Feel free to pause this video right now, get your phone out, get a pen and notepad, um, so you can write them down. Put it in your phone notes, tweet it even so you always have it. Just some affirmations for you. I am deserving of respect, love, and happiness. I give respect, love, and happiness too. I love that. That's this one right here. I'll say it one more time for you. I keep hitting this table. I'm so sorry. I am deserving of respect love and happiness. I give respect, love, and happiness too. Super beautiful. Next card, I have confidence in myself. I am ready for everything that life offers me. I love that. I have confidence in myself. I am ready for everything that life offers me. Super beautiful. And our last card, Look how beautiful. In my heart, I know that good things are coming my way. One more time. In my heart, I know that good things are coming my way. Alrighty, Pile 3. This has been your reading. Take some alone time. You know, go ahead. This is the go. This is the go ahead and try it. You might really like it. You might love it. Pile three, pile three. I'm sending you love, light, and protection. Don't be afraid to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to see you in the next video. I'd love for you to join the family. I'm going to leave my socials below if you're into that kind of thing and you want to hang out outside of the YouTube world. I love you. I love you. I love you. Be sure you're being safe, washing your hands, staying six feet away from people, you know, really getting in this alone time. I love you. I love you. I love you. I'm so proud of you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.